Emilia, do you know why Ramadan is special? Yes, I know why it is very special. Ramadan is special because everyone fasts and we will get lots of rewards because we fast for a long time until iftar. Yes, you are correct, but there are many more reasons why Ramadan is special. Audhu billahi muna shaitan rajim Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to discuss why Ramadan is so special and important. Number one, in Ramadan, the Holy Quran was revealed. Amelia, do you understand? No, I don't understand. Do you know what the Quran is? Yes. Okay, what is the Quran? The, the Quran, what? The Quran is like a book that has lots of surahs. Yes, Quran is the holy book and it has many surahs. Now, in Ramadan, the holy Quran was revealed. Okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But why? Why? The Quran is a book of guidance. If we never had the Quran, then people would be misguided. If we didn't have the Sunnah and the Quran, the people would do random stuff and uh, do bad, many bad things. So the Quran is here as a revelation and it is for guidance. Okay, viewers, this is why Ramadan is called the month of the Holy Quran because the Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Okay, number two. In Ramadan, you attain something called taqwa. And this taqwa, it will protect you from sin and it will also protect you from other bad stuff and trouble. Point number three. In Ramadan, every good deed that you do, it will be multiplied by 70 times. How? How will it be multiplied 70 times? How will it be multiplied by 70 times? Yeah. Allah is being kind this month. Allah is being generous and He is going to make us get many good deeds. Because in Ramadan, you cannot do bad things in this holy month. This, is, this month is like a training month. Okay? okay? Explain what does it mean? Okay, I'll explain. What that means is, let's say you gave one dollar to the homeless person. And so in the month of Ramadan, one dollar, it'll be equivalent to seventy dollars. So that means you will get the reward of giving seventy dollars to the homeless person. Okay? Okay. So let's say uh, you prayed one raka of salah. Normally, it will be one rakah, like normal, but in Ramadan, it will be multiplied by 70. So, you'll get the reward of you praying 70 rakah. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Nice. Mashallah. Number four, in Ramadan, the gates of Jannah are open. And the gates of Jahannam are closed. That means is that um, your chances of going to Jannah are higher. So if now that only applies if you do lots of good deeds, you pray a lot, you fast, you attend Tarawih, you read lots of Quran, and so that's the thing. That's well, that will make you have a higher chance going to Jannah. Number five. This point is the most important out of all of them. Point number five. So in Ramadan, there is a special night called Laylatul Qadr. In Laylatul Qadr, whatever good deed you will do, it will be equivalent to you doing it for 1,000 months. Now, 1,000 months is equivalent to 83 years. Okay, And this is... There's lots of reward because let's say for example most people they live until 70 or 75 and Laylatul Qadr is equivalent to 83 years 
So that means they get more reward than than their entire lives. Gamey, okay, you have any questions? No. No? Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. What did it mean by a thousand months? Thousand months. <coughs> Eighty-three years. Yeah. Now what can I do in late at Lakodit, huh? What can I do in the night? In the night. Pray? <clears throat> yes, you can pray. Okay, I'll explain it to you. In Laylatul Qadr, you can do any good deed. So you can pray Salat al Tahajjud. You could ask Allah for forgiveness. You could ask Allah for anything. Like in the night, you can ask Allah for giving you Jannah, and He and you can also ask for Him to forgive all of your sins. And of course, Allah will accept your dua. So you should make dua to Allah. Oh Allah, please grant me Jannah. Please forgive me for all what I've all done. Okay? Let's pray. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasna wa fi al-akhirati hasna wa kina adab al-nar. Rabbana la tudhik kunubana ba'ad layta aytana wa hablana min ladunta rahma inna kanta wanha. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Now that's just one example of what you can do in Ramadan, in the night of Laylat al-Qadr. So that's just one thing. You can do many other good deeds. So okay viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please put a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Jazakumallahu khayyan. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak.